this is yet, and, and I hate to say it this way, but it's true, man. This is yet another year where, or another season where Anthony Davis gets hurt. And Anthony Davis has to miss a, uh, a, a, a extended amount of time. This time, it was, I think, an ankle injury. Uh, and I saw the play. It was against Denver. Anthony Davis, I've never seen someone injure an ankle while in the air. Like, I understand you coming down. He was in the air, and I think his ankle collided with uh, Nikola Jokic's knee or something like that, or shin or something like that. And, of course, now Anthony Davis is going to be out for at least a month. The the point here's the thing. I understand the whole storied franchise. I do. I, I get it. Of course, my, my my beloved Wizards are not a storied franchise, but I understand the storied franchise uh, uh, label that the Lakers have. You know, all the champions. I think sixteen championships. Uh, some of the great names that have walked through the door, i.e. Magic Johnson, R.I.P. to Kobe Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron James. I get it. I also understand that the, the ship to uh, blow it up has kind of sailed. It kind of sailed this offseason when you could have you could have got off of Russell Westbrook. You could have got off of some of the pieces. You instead get Patrick Beverly, who hasn't really done much. Um, Lonnie Walker. You know, I, I, that ship to kind of blow it up has sailed. Because at this point, what are you getting? Who are you getting? How are you going to move pieces when teams know you need to move pieces? So I'm not talking about. I, there's no point of talking about blow it up at this point because it's not they're You're just they're not in the position to do that. What I'm talking about. And I know they don't want to admit it because of how much they traded for to get Anthony Davis and I also understand Anthony Davis helped and was a big reason why they won a championship in what 2020 but I think you have to really sit down and think long and hard about your next move with Anthony Davis Anthony Davis and I understand Anthony Davis was just on a tear averaging like 32 34 points for the last like eight or nine games. I know he put a 55 bird on the Wizards in Washington. I, I get Anthony Davis has been hooping. And I said in an, I even put a clip out on YouTube. Anthony Davis should, at least from his play, those nine, nine to ten games should be in the MVP discussion. Because how good he was playing. I also brought back the argument about Anthony Davis and, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. And why a lot of people, especially in the beginning, you know, when Giannis was on his ascension and Anthony Davis was going crazy in New Orleans. Why a lot of people were questioning who was better. But the reason why I think that the, the 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 Lakers should look long and hard and think long and hard about moving Anthony Davis is because what do we know? What that what variables do we know about Anthony Davis right now? We know that Anthony Davis is one of the best players when playing, and you can argue that Anthony Davis is a top five, top ten player. While when he's healthy, and we saw it for the last nine or so games. But one thing that we also know, and one thing that year after year fans, and especially Lakers fans at this point, are starting to anticipate is that injury coming. And that injury that that is going to put out or is going to keep Anthony Davis out for an extended period of time. And don't get me wrong. 
the Lakers understand and the Lakers know, the Lakers fans know, even though the Lakers fans can be hella delusional, they're not dumb. They understand that this Lakers team is going absolutely nowhere without Anthony Davis, a healthy Anthony Davis. Even with LeBron James, even with Russell Westbrook, whether you trade him or not, this team cannot reach cannot reach any heights without a healthy Anthony Davis. A healthy Anthony Davis that is playing to the level that we were seeing the last few nine games and the level that we saw in New Orleans. The problem is, and as Lakers fans know, that when healthy is strong. That when healthy, if available, is strong. Because nine times out of ten, he has not been healthy or available. Now, some players are just fragile. And I uh, again, the, sometimes there's nothing you can do. Derrick Rose, especially early in his career, was fragile. And that drastically affected his career. Brandon Roy, fragile. You can you can say it's fragile. You can say injury prone. Whatever you want to call it. T Mac, injury prone. Grant Hill, injury prone. Greg Oden, injury prone. Hell, in the beginning of the, his career, Steph Curry and Steph Curry's hurt right now. Steph Curry, injury prone. Remember, Kyrie was injury prone. So there's there's players that are just more fragile than others. But one thing that we can say about Steph Curry is that in the biggest moments, he was there for his team. And that's why he has four championships, two MVPs. You know what's funny? What's crazy, and and, and one of the biggest reasons why I really think, I'll be real with you, I think the Lakers should trade Anthony Davis. And that's no... That's 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 no referendum and no no shot at Anthony Davis skills. I think that that bolds that solidifies how great he is. There was there was a time, there was a point in in the league where you could really argue if Anthony Davis was the best player in the league. Or Let's say one of the best players because that's always been LeBron or something. Anthony Davis has the skill set to be one of, if not the best player in the league. I said this. I said this when I when I did my clip and talking about Giannis and everything. Anthony Davis is more skilled than Giannis. Anthony Davis is a more skilled basketball player than Giannis and Tentacupo. Two-time MVP, Giannis and Tentacumpo. NBA champion, final or NBA champion, finals MVP, Giannis and Tentacumpo. The pro, but why do we never put Giannis and Anthony Davis in the same conversation anymore? Is because Anthony Davis is always hurt. So I think I think the Lakers should trade him. And I, I think you trade him because while, yes, you can you you can build around his talent. His talent is generational. But do you want to put your faith in a player or do you want to put your franchise in the hands of a player while talented as hell? Is also irreliable as far as being able to stay on the court because of injuries. I think Anthony Davis is a um, incredible player. I just also am a realist about what we've seen out of Anthony Davis, and he, there's no way that you can tack the label consistent with him because of his injury track. In fact, I'm going to look this up. I'm about to look up how many games Anthony Davis has played, and I can almost assure you, um, that Anthony Davis has not played a lot in the last few years. 
Let me just look. Okay. Since going to, let's start with 2018, 19, when he was his last year in New Orleans. He played 56 games. Cool. L.A., he played 62. That means he missed 20 games in 2019, 2020. The year he won the championship, he played 36. But, of course, that was the year that the league stopped and went to the bubble. Stopped for a couple months, came back, and went crazy. The year after that, 21-22, the year that the Lakers made it to the playoffs after beating the Golden State Warriors in the play-in, but also getting smacked by the Suns, he played 40 games. And so far this year, he's played 25 and is going to miss about a month. Talent-wise, it's it's undeniable how great Anthony Davis is. But in the same breath, the 2012 number one overall pick has not been reliable. Since 2000. And, and think about this. So the, the the most he's ever played in a season is 75 games. That was 2016-17 to 2017-18. He played 75 games, averaged 28 points uh, both seasons pretty much, 11 re- or 12 rebounds in 2016, and 2017 it was 11. How many blocks? Two, no, two, two blocks and three blocks if we're rounding up. Anthony Davis shoots 80, pretty much a 70, 80% free throw shooter. So you have 64 games in his, in his entire career, 64 games, 67, 68, 61, 75, 75, 56, 62, 36, 40, and now 25. Now I do understand because I think I heard Ramona Shelburne say this. I do understand, you know, people give Anthony Davis a lot of flack. And this, the flack that we give Anthony Davis, we don't give players like Kawhi Leonard or, or players like Paul George, who, with to give credit, Anthony Davis has played in the last few years, Anthony Davis has played more more games than both of them. But I think one of the biggest reasons why we don't give them slack is because look at the state of the Clippers right now compared to the state of the Lakers. Now, I'm not putting that all on Anthony Davis, but who is who would you think in this moment right now? Even with age, think about that, even with age, because Anthony Davis is twenty nine. Kawhi Leonard is a whopping 31. Who would you feel more comfortable with right now? Start building your franchise around right now. And this is even with the injury history. Leave it in the comments because I, I want to have this conversation. I want to have a dialogue. Who do you feel more comfortable right now building your franchise around? Anthony Davis or Kawhi Leonard. Oh man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.